welcome back to another $100 supersize sales video. These sales come from the posts in my Facebook group, which the link is below the video if you're not a member. And in June, we started a new thread where it's only $100 and over sales. So if you're in the group, you can check that out and read through those. But in this video, I'm going to make it easy for you so you can listen, watch as you're doing other things, and you don't have to spend hours and hours on a Facebook group. Something different about this video is I'm trying to create these faster to give you more information that will help your business and help you make more money because you're going to be more informed and educated on what to look for. The format is a little bit different. I'm recording straight from Facebook. So I hope the quality does not suffer too much, but I tend to be a perfectionist when I am creating any content and I just am working on that. <laughs> but um, so let me know what you think about this format. I know the most important thing is for you to be able to see the item. So if you are posting on this thread, please make sure your image is large enough. If you're doing a screenshot from your phone, make sure that you have actually gone to the listing to take that screenshot because you'll see some of these photos have um, the, the buttons at the top. And if we can get the photos better, everybody can learn more. So I'm not going back and editing these photos. And if your listing was not included, that's probably why is the photo was just too small and the quality wasn't great. So I do need the community to work together on this <laughs> so that the photos are high quality and big enough to see in a video. And I hate to exclude anybody, but really making these videos is all about time. And I wanna give you the most information possible in a video so that you can find these items and make more money. Okay, so we're gonna head over to my Facebook group and get started. Okay, here we are on the June 2021 Supersize Sales thread in my Facebook group. And we're gonna start off with Angelie Hayes. She says, found at Goodwill, paid $1.99, sold for $113, at auction after one week. It's a promotional tarot card deck, copyright 1967. Okay, moving on to Amy Lunken. Marmot ski jacket found at local thrift for $6. Sold on best offer for $150 plus shipping after several months. A lot of things going on in this listing. We've got a heavy snow ski jacket that sold in June for over $100. So just another example that eBay knows no seasons if you have it listed. Next up is Rosalba Vasquez, paid $17 at Goodwill, sold in two days. Beautiful St. John blazer jacket embroidered. Sold for $105. She paid $17. Next up is Amy Lunkin again. Paid $40 at a thrift store. More than I would normally pay, but was confident I'd get a good sale. Sold on best offer for $130 plus shipping in about 60 days. This is animated stories from the New Testament. 14 DVDs. Family Entertainment. She paid $40, and it sold for $130 in about two months. Next up is Lynn Jones. Purchased at an estate sale on May 29th, listed on the 30th, sold within two hours for $285 with free shipping. This is used at home by people checking their blood coagulation values. So you can see there it's a medical device sold for $285 within two hours. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? And she didn't say what she paid for it. So Lynn, if you're watching, let us know what your cost was. 
Okay, now we've got KC, $15 at an estate sale, sold for $119.95 in about one month. Actually purchased about 10 of them at $15 each on final day of sale. This is Adobe Photoshop software. Next up is Jessica Lloyd Paranto, bought about 80 Star Wars books from a woman who was moving and clearing out her adult son's room. I paid approximately 20 cents a book, paid $3.80 for this set, and sold for $125. Okay, another one from Jessica. I paid $30 at a rummage sale with the intention of giving it to my son for Christmas. Being a curious eBay reseller, I decided to look up comps just for fun. Needless to say, he got something else for Christmas. Paid $30, sold for $150 plus shipping, took a couple of months. This is an Orvis Premium Fly Tying Kit. Learn to tie 16 essential patterns. So it's for fly fishing. Looks like it's new in the package. $30, sold for $150. Next up is Mark Sherrill. Paid $10 on clearance at TJ Maxx plus $8 shipping. Sold within a few days of listing. This is Peter Millar Cologne, and that is spelled M-I-L-L-A-R, not Miller, but Millar. Spray Cologne, new in the box. $10 sold for $100. And Heather asked, does TJ Maxx usually have items like this? And Mark answered, I don't usually find items with that sort of profit potential there, but I pretty regularly buy their clearance and even regular price items to flip. And if this strategy is new to you, it's called retail arbitrage, where you buy items in a retail store and sell them on another platform. This is totally legal. <laughs> people are like how can you do that you, you just do it it's just there you just go buy it and resell it and the reason this works is because of availability something that you might find on clearance for ten dollars might only be in that store or only in your city or only in your part of the country doesn't mean it's going to be on ten dollar clearance everywhere so this is where it's just another strategy of buying for resale. There's no guarantee that just because one person finds something on clearance at TJ Maxx, it's going to be the exact same thing in your store at your location. So that's why this works is because it's, it's all about location, availability. Sometimes retail stores will put items on clearance because they're not selling in that store or they need the shelf space or the time allotted to be on the shelf has expired and they need to get that item off the shelf so they can put something else there. So if you are not doing this strategy or thinking about it, you know, you might want to drop into a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls or a Home Goods or any of those kinds of stores, any store really, and see how that works and I do have an entire course in the premium library about selling retail items, clearance items, discontinued items and why this works and can be so profitable. Next up is Savannah Boone. Bought this at an estate sale for $37. This seven inch tall bottle was the largest bottle of perfume I had ever seen and when I looked up comps, I discovered it was discontinued and sold for quite a bit, but could not find any sold for a bottle my size. So I listed it on the high side for 300 to see what happened. A kind eBayer sent me a message that said, factice is a French word for dummy. So this was actually a store display bottle for advertising and most of them contained colored water instead of perfume. But some brands did fill the bottles with real perfume. It turns out display bottles are collectible as well. I changed my title and updated the description. 
I listed it for 300 and it sold on offer. I sent out for $269. It took six months to sell. So her investment was $37. It sold for $269. And this is a store dummy display bottle, but it actually had the perfume in it. So this has come up a few more times on the Money Making Mondays that I can remember where these giant bottles are starting to show up at estate sales, garage sales, and you'll just have to check and see if what's inside actually has the fragrance or if it's colored water. But um, these are definitely tall. Um, somebody sold one for like $2,000 that was maybe 10 inches tall. So quite valuable if you stumble upon these. Okay, now we've got Lynn Jones again. She says, oops, I forgot to put, I purchased this item for $750. Okay, there we got our answer. So this was the medical device that sold for $285. And that's what I get for not proofreading all of these sales before making a video. Sometimes the information comes later, but at least we got the information. Next up is Jackie Bach Patterson. Bought this vintage Disney Lady and the Tramp skirt at an estate sale for $21. At first I thought it was a tree skirt, but it's a regular skirt. The panels were sold in the 1950s as promotional items when the movie was released. People would buy the panels and then sew their own skirts. This one was unfinished, no hem, and the waistband was not complete. Sold for $900 plus shipping to a delightful lady who collects these skirts. And there's some conversation here. Let me get all those comments pulled up. Uh, Stephanie Kay says, that is wow. <laughs> yeah, that is wow. Awesome. Um, somebody asked, so these panel skirts were a thing. Never heard of them. And Jerry Alexander answered, I have this skirt in my personal collection and have been going back and forth on whether or not to sell it. Mine is black and navy. It's really tight at the waist on me, so I never wear it but I think I'll feel sad if I sell it. It seems silly, I know, especially when they sell for so much. And then just more congratulations on this great sale. And then somebody suggested that uh, Jerry Alexander frame it <laughs> so you could see it all the time. So that is definitely a collectible, a skirt that sells for $900. Oh my gosh, that is just, so amazing. This stuff is out there and look at you guys finding it. Next up is Sue Ann Acres. I bought this at Goodwill for $9.99 plus tax. It sold in three months. I included a video of it working in the listing. This is a vintage light up beach motion mirror picture with sounds. She paid $9.99 and it sold for $159.99. And yes, you can include a video of your item working or doing whatever it's supposed to do in your listing. There is a certain workaround you can do. No, I don't want to use that word workaround because that implies no integrity. <laughs> um, there is a method you can use to post videos and that has nothing to do with the active content that eBay started prohibiting back in I think it was 2016 we all had to get active content off of our listings I have a video and a lesson about how to do that in the premium library so you can check that or if you just want to figure it out you can google how to include video in your eBay listing and that is very helpful in selling your item because that's going to help build the confidence between you and whoever's looking at your item because they're going to be confident that it works correctly. So think about that if you are selling anything that you know plugs in and a light comes on or it's a toy that moves or if it makes a sound or if it's a music box or anything like that definitely helpful to have a 
video clip. It can be 10 seconds long, just showing that the item works and that will definitely help build customer confidence. Next up is Linda Headley, found in my mom's closet with a bunch of old jackets, free to me. Took an offer of $200 after about a week. And this is one of those vintage clothing items you should always be looking for because they're really easy to spot on the racks of clothing with that Sherpa collar. This is a vintage Lee Storm Rider denim jacket. It was free and Linda took an offer of $200 after about a week. So, hey, you know, if you've got family members with a bunch of clothes in their closets that they never wear, you might want to figure out how to get in there and look around. <laughs> it just kills me when I see people that have like so many clothes and they just don't wear most of them. And it's like, oh, that's a treasure hunt. Can I go in your closet and look around? Next up is Lori Kozicki. I hope I said that right. Paid $6, sold on auction for $115. This is a vintage Jeanette, question mark, jadeite square sugar shaker that glows in the dark. How fun is that? So the money is in the little items. $6, sold for $115.50. And this was an auction. Next up is Graham Murray. Bought 35 clubs last week for $200 off Marketplace, meaning Facebook Marketplace. But cost is $5.60 each. Sold two like this already. Only about 10 are worth over $100. Not a bad buy. And there's some conversation on this. Of course... KC says only 10, meaning only 10 were worth over $100. And then Alex said, hi, Graham, do you sell a lot of clubs? Can I PM you for a few questions? So this is the great thing about Facebook groups is there are always people who know more than you do that you can chat with them if they are willing to help out. So the item is a Callaway driving iron. Sold for $139.99, and Graham's cost was only $5.60. And then Graham has another item, paid $32 at a thrift, sold in a week. Bought a second one the same day, different model, and it sold too. Vintage Brother Profile Knitting Machine. So look at Graham is all over the place on everything he sells, golf clubs to knitting machines. Michelle said, just bought one of these brand new for a dollar at auction. Need to get it listed. Next up is Kelly Rents. Picked up these at Goodwill for $6. They must have just rolled the cart out because, as you all know, things like this are snatched up fast. And most of all, I was so surprised that they were marked $6. Listed for $129.99, took best offer of $100. They took about a week to sell. And this is the quintessential vintage kitchen item. Set of 18 Griffith glass spice jars, white milk glass with original rack. What a beautiful vintage item and collectible. So she paid $6 and sold this for $100. Kelly has another one. She says, Goodwill find. Paid $26 for all of them. I had a bunch of people that wanted me to sell them separately, but I didn't want to change the listing and take new pictures. They took a couple of weeks to sell for $169.99. And this is some word art with different words. Love, live, laugh, dream. Fun little decorative items. Paid $26 and they sold for $169.99. Next up is Lauren and I'm not going to attempt your last name because it will probably be butchered beyond belief. Anyway, Lauren paid $15. Sold in a few weeks for asking. I was at Dollar Tree and the man behind me was buying neon pink poster board. 
I asked if he was having a yard sale, if he had toys. This was in his car. I bought it in the parking lot of Dollar Tree. I love that. You can negotiate anything, anywhere. Vintage, 1992, Mattel, Hot Wheels, crisscross Crash, Track Set, new in box. Lauren paid $15, and it sold for $125.99. Sandy says, you get a hustle award for that. <laughs> Absolutely. And then Lauren answered, I'd like to thank my lack of social filter. My parents for telling me not to talk to strangers, but for raising me a rebel. And of course, whomever coined the phrase, you miss all the shots you don't take. I think that's Wayne Gretzky. But Lauren, yes, you do get the hustle award <laughs> for buying this out of somebody's car. And I have done the reverse, like when I had something really cool in my cart at Goodwill and someone comments on it and they're like, oh, are you really, are you going to buy that? You know, I, I think that's totally cool. And I'm like, great. You know what? Meet me in the parking lot and we can do a deal. But they've never taken me up on it yet, but I'm totally willing to do that. Okay. Julie Gambino. They were in my cabinet and I used them daily. Sold in less than 24 hours. And Julie, for some reason, your photo would not load. But the item is crate and barrel drinking glasses. So they were free. And she just decided, I don't need these anymore. I'm going to sell them. And they sold for $175. Okay, moving on to Lydia Valente. I was given this set of Beethoven vinyl records by a family member. So it was free to me. It was listed at $140 for several months and I took a best offer of $100 plus shipping. I might have waited it out as comps were around $130 to $140 when I listed it, but we were moving next month, so I was glad to take all 52 pounds of it to the post office now. That is a great point, that when you are moving, you are more likely to let things go because <laughs> they're heavy, you have to move them. So the item is Beethoven Bicentennial Collection, full set of 17. There are 85 records with book. So it was free and sold for $100. Okay, and now for our cover photo. Holly de Blasio bought this off local yard sale page for $25. Took about a month to sell listed for $1,290 and sold for $1,100. This is a Danbury Mint English Bulldog lighted Christmas tree retired. And over my career of watching what's posted on Money Making Mondays, I have seen this type of item several times but with different dog breeds. So this is definitely a bolo item. So we have a bunch of congratulations over there in the comments and Lewis Prizzy says, still waiting for mine to sell. That was so much faster to create than the old way of taking screenshots and putting them in PowerPoint and going through it. So let me know if this format works. I appreciate all of you in the group who post and share your sales because everybody learns. And while there may not be likes and comments on your post, trust me, thousands of people are watching and learning from what you're doing. We have lots of lurkers in the group who never say a word. And that's really important because what you're doing is reaching a lot of people. So I appreciate everybody who participates and look forward to more of these $100 supersized sales coming soon. Thanks for watching. Have a great day on eBay. Bye.